Let's get more on this website that's been claiming cancer can be treated by removing toxins. Uh, a GP says it could be breaking the law, and the site also claims that conventional cancer treatments frequently kill patients. It's called Cancer So What? Uh, and it promotes a book by a self-proclaimed healer called Karma Singh. Now, he told the BBC he wasn't active in the world of medicine, but healing... Another of his companies, which is based in Glastonbury, has just been wrapped over the knuckles for misleading adverts. Our reporter, Dickon Hooper, has been looking into this. Hi, Ben. Well, the website is called Cancer So What? It's run by a man called Karma Singh. He describes himself as a healer. Now, on that site, he says conventional cancer treatments do nothing helpful and that cancer is the body's way of removing toxins. I spoke to Mr Singh on Skype about this. Cancer is your friend. It keeps you alive in a state of high toxicity. What that tells you are, however, is, hey, there's a big problem here that you've got to work with. You've got to find out where the toxicity is coming from. And nowadays, it's usually the nutrition. You've got to work out why your normal detoxification systems aren't working properly. And you've got to correct them. Now, his book on how to do this costs just under £20, and you write the cheque to one of Mr Singh's Glastonbury-based companies. OK, so the obvious question here is, what's wrong with this? What's wrong with what he's doing? Well, I asked uh, GP Dr Charles Shepherd that very question. I asked him to have a look at the site. Uh, he's uh, had a long-standing interest in alternative medicine, and in particular the Cancer Act. Now, there are actually, uh, by law, restrictions on who can advertise treatment and advice on cancer. And this is Dr. Shepard's view uh, of Mr. Singh's site. My feeling is that this, this is a contravention of the Cancer Act, what he is doing. He is clearly, besides producing a lot of inaccurate and misleading information about the cause and nature of cancer, um, he, he is providing inaccurate advice on the management of cancer. And he is dissuading people from actually going down effective routes of, of treatment. Now, I've put these concerns about the legislation to Karma Singh several times, and this is what he told me. If you look at it in the medical sense, now, medicine attacks the cancer, it attacks the solution, it doesn't deal with the problem. We look at what's the real problem, how do we resolve the real problem. The problem isn't the cancer, the problem is what has caused your body to react by producing a cancer. It's a completely different world. We're not in the world of medicine, we're in the world of healing. And, you know, Dick, anyone that knows Glastonbury, you know, whether you're in Somerset or not really, will know that that, that is a, a well-known world. That, that's, that's part of the town, that sort of, uh, that sort of view and that sort of, sort of life. And that's obviously where, where his companies are based. That's absolutely right. I mean, I first became interested in this story because of Harmony United. That's another of Mr Singh's companies that, as you say, is based in Glastonbury. Now, on the site there, Harmony's site, it says it can help harmonise the world's energy systems. But it's been recently wrapped over the knuckles by the Advertising Standards Authority for making misleading claims in its adverts about what its products can do for your health and, crucially, not having the evidence to back these claims up. Now, those adverts were referred to the authorities by the Nightingale Collaboration. That's a small pressure group which campaigns on this type of issue. Uh, and I spoke to their director, Alan Hennis, uh, about what was wrong uh, with Harmony United's adverts. If you're making claims, then you should expect to be able to justify those claims you're making to the public. The harms, you know, obviously with, with health, then I think it's particularly important that people are basing health care decisions on what they're being told in adverts. Well, Karma Singh disagreed when I put that to him. He said Harmony's products help the body work better, uh, but he can't advertise that unless he shows the Advertising Standards Authority some proof, Ben. There's our reporter, Dickon Hooper, and uh, you can see more on this in uh, Dickon's report, which is on Points West tonight. That's on BBC One at half past six.